Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time from Vito Man. Now this here is the Super Safe Life BMS Power Station. Now the box is a large box, kind of hard to fit it all in my area here. Kind of go over some of the sides with the pictures, it is a portable unit. Um, I use these quite a bit, especially during power outages or if we go out to the park or something and want to play some music or be able to charge devices and stuff. Sorry about the angle here. The flash speed 300 is the unit and the model number is PB-82. So I'll lay this on the side. It's kind of a huge box. It goes well out of my camera range, especially my desk area here. So let's wait no further. Let's go ahead and get this open and uh, see what's in. It's got a seal on here. These can be a real bugger to get off. Don't have much nails. I'm peeling it off, but it's, uh, there we go. Yeah. That is a bugger. Now we're going to go ahead and Get this opened here. Man, tough one to get into here. Box is pretty snugly packed here. Some friendly tips. There it is there. Now I've done their jump starter air compressor combo in the past so they had this here they're having a special sales event on it let me move this box out of the way a little bit like show you the user manual nice detailed information it's got the full LED display on here now this is going to be considered a light duty Take the other box out of the top here. Let's open it up and uh, see what goodies are in here. It's probably the power cord. There's a car charger cable for it. USB Type C to Type C and USB to Type C cables. Probably the power brick here. Now here's some information here on the bottom of that. And we'll connect this together. I have not charged this, so hopefully it has enough power to be able to display it here. Nice foam packing. Let's see if there's anything else in here in the box. And there's not. So, probably about the size of a Bluetooth speaker. Got quite a few that are about this size. I'm not sure how to open it or anything. Oh, it looks like I accidentally turned it on here. Huh. I guess if you tap the button, this is a sealed bag here. Grab it here. 
Nice. Display is showing 79%. So that's plenty of power to demonstrate it. Here's one end here. It has a cooling fan and then a light here. Got a protection piece. I always leave them on there until they fall off. Here's the back of the unit. There's the information on the back if you need. Pause the screen. Does have some rubber feet here on the bottom. Oh, nice. This has a lot of ports here. It's got a high output port here. These are standard USB ports. Type C out here. That'll be really high output. Now these here take a special adapter and I'll bring one out. I actually use them. I bought them on Amazon quite a while back and uh, I just use these and they plug right in here and you can display comes on when you plug something in and uh, I've used this quite a bit always have something that somebody's needs that uh, they only have a car charger for it plus you can put a little USB charging cable adapter cigarette adapter into that and get more charging capabilities on that so that's what that ports are there for of course you got the two AC outlets three prong looks like some more ventilation here fans on the other side Look on and off AC out on and off for the whole unit. That's what I was accidentally hitting. Display looks like it's uh, not too bright, but uh, you can see it. It's in the light here in my office. So you can see that day or night. Nice little unit here. Nice to be able to have this type of power. ABS plastic. Let's uh, try on the... Try to get the light to work here. I guess you got to, I was pressing down and holding. I guess you don't have to do that. Nice little area light there, especially for emergencies. Put it upside down like that. Have a ceiling bounce if you have to. Or just set it down, carry it like a flashlight. Nice floodlight. 5K. Push it again, we'll get you a strobe. And then you have SOS, tells you how many watts the unit is putting out. Turn on the flashlight again, and with the light on, it's putting out about 3 watts. Press and hold so you don't have to go through all the other special modes. Now, I accidentally hit the button again, so it looks like you just hit the AC buttons. It'll tell you when it's on and activated. Same goes for the USB. Nice. We're going to try these out. Let me grab a little power bank be interesting to see how much this really kicks out okay so I got a little cable just gonna try out this high output port see if it'll automatically come on when I plug something into it and it doesn't so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on here
waiting for it to do something here there we go and watch this bump up here uh, 9.1 volts now this may jump up to 12 that would really be a nice output but it's at 9.2 at almost 2 amp 9.2 volts 1.9 amp that's pretty good just on the high amp USB output here so now let's try the let me grab the type C to type C cable see if possibly it goes up from there it hasn't changed yet normally this would change that's at 2 amp so that's impressive. These other ones here to show you, it's going to be your standard 5 volt, 5.1 volt at a 500 milliamp. So now it just jumped up to 1.8 amp. So that's your standard outputs on there. You got two of them. Let me grab this Type C to Type C port cable here and uh, let's just see how. So now that I've got I want to make sure that that was plugged all the way in. So let's see if this is an output here. Well, this is kicking out. So this is only a charging port here to charge the unit via Type-C, which is great. Plus you've got the the regular power cable and I'm not too sure why this is not kicking out but in any case you've got the three charging ports with one high output one so that's what it's doing when you're charging the unit via type C in 14 watt these things are really amazing so I'm charging this thing with this <laughs> so that's a an input only at the moment I'm able to get out of that display is nice as well as the lights here on the side the buttons you can accidentally hit moving it around which is the case for all of them and let me turn off the display there So this is a must-have if you're wanting something, a light duty uh, power station, you're not wanting anything that's going to require a lot of power. I believe this is 300 watts max, which is still uh, a lot of power. Uh, you can easily run small appliances. Uh, you don't want to push it too much because it will automatically shut off, but uh, I've run quite a bit of stuff off here and uh, been happy with that carry this anywhere you need to go camping it's going to be a huge plus to have or an emergency you know this being rugged ABS plastic should be able to bang it around a little bit with no hassles the more you pull from it especially if you're charging it the battery fan and stuff may come on to keep the batteries cool but uh, definitely a must-have as a backup unit okay well let's go ahead and uh, take this out to my garage and uh, check out this uh, side light on here before we close out the video We are out here in the darkness of my garage. We'll do a little demonstration here of the Vito Man Flash Speed PB18. I go ahead and turn on the side light here just so you can see. Um, I tried to do a test of 
how powerful it is. About 88 lumens, maybe a little more. Uh, my testing is kind of limited for this type of beam, which is a flood beam, which is perfectly suited. So even if you ceiling bounce it, you can still see quite a bit of light output, especially for emergencies. Well, that's what that looks like. Nice color temp, and it does well. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the little demonstration on the side light. For emergencies, camping, that's going to be plenty. So it's going to light up a huge area at once. The AC, pretty much you can use anything under 300 watts in here. Pretty much like a small appliance. Uh, anything more than 250, you're going to pull on the system here so keep it down below that run a you know lamps in it you can do that we've done that especially with the LED bulbs you should be fine the USB ports here plus the additional ports where you can charge it via the type C that's a huge plus for this so if you do misplace this cord you can still charge this bad boy up on the go I like the fact that it's portable it's relatively short and you can carry it like a little boombox speaker. The fan here, um, it did not kick on when I was testing it out. When I was charging it, it did kick on, but uh, only for about 10-15 minutes and then it just shut off. And by that time, 80% to 100 took quite a bit for this. I did it through the Type-C and uh, it took a little bit, but uh, it did it just fine. So I'm impressed with it. Overall build quality is nice on here. Not seeing any issues with this. This is considered a light duty. Uh, it's not a heavy duty or a super duty in any way. So make sure that you keep it under 300 watts and it should be just fine. Display again, large enough, easy enough to read day or night. So that's a huge plus. So I want to thank Vito Man for sending me this Flash Speed 300 to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, I will leave a link down below the video where you can get this. I am working on a special discount code. They are having a kind of a special sales event. And if I do get that, I'll have that there and that will help save some money on this just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these little power stations, portable that is, to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness.